Um, well, we cannot discuss uh, finance, of course, without the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, and its managing director, Kristalina Georgieva. Uh, Ms. Georgieva, uh, you have been one of the biggest drivers on climate financing. Um, how can we scale up adaptation finance? Uh, first, many thanks to Prime Minister Rutte for bringing us in this uh, special moment. And since I'm the first to take the floor after John Kerry, warm welcome to the United States back in the Paris Agreement. To tackle this grave challenge of climate change, we need all hands on deck. And certainly the US is so critical for success. Uh, and uh, uh, saying all hands on deck, that also means international organization playing our role. For us at the IMF, we see climate as a fundamental risk to economic and financial stability. And we see climate action as an opportunity to reinvigorate growth, especially after the pandemic, and to generate new green jobs. So for us, it is mission critical. Our research shows that if we combine rising uh, uh, carbon prices with the green infrastructure push to bring emissions down and adapt to uh, climate change, we can boost global GDP over the next 15 years by 0.7% higher growth, and we will create millions of new green jobs. So, what else does action mean for us at the IMF? First, integrating climate in our annual country economic assessment. They're known in the world as Article 4 consultations. In highly vulnerable countries, we focus on adaptation. And we are also building up mitigation analysis, including carbon pricing in our assessment of large emitters. Second, including climate-related financial stability risks in our financial sector surveillance through standardized disclosure of these risks, enhanced stress tests, and assessments of supervisory framework. Make the money go where they must. Third, scaling up climate in our capacity development so we can help equip finance ministries and central banks with the skills needed to take climate considerations into account. And fourth, mainstream climate indicators in macroeconomic data. Unless we do it, we won't take that important shift. So this year, we are going to launch a climate change dashboard, indicators to track the economic impact of climate risks and the measures taken to mitigate them. So let me finish. Climate resilience is a critical priority. And this is why we place it at the heart of what we do this year and in the years to come. Thank you very much. Kristalina Georgieva from IMF.